Hello, welcome to Kellogg Public Library's virtual story time. My name is Sherry. The story I'm going to share with you today is this book is called Spots, written by and illustrated by Diane Alber. To my children, Ryan and Anna, always spot the fun in every situation. This is a story about finding spots. Just look for circles, speckles, and dots. They can bubble up big or shrink down quite small. Do you think you are able to spot them all? Some spots are stinky, and some spots are clean, and some are the craziest you've ever seen. They love to be spotted, believe it or not, so when you see one, just point and yell, SPOT! The thing about spots that makes them so great is all the happiness that they can create. They add a design to each space they are on. Just look at this lizard, this frog, and python. To find some more spots, let us visit the zoo. Leopards and cheetahs and tall giraffes, too, have unique spots from their heads to their toes, but only the leopard has spots like a rose. If you go to a farm and hear a loud moo, just look for a cow, they'll have quite a few. You might not expect to see a spot so big, especially the one on this large, smelly pig. One more animal that we just can't forget is a Dalmatian who lives as a firehouse pet. This spotted friend has a large amount, so many in fact they will be hard to count. Reading can be a great way to explore spots that you may not have seen before. An exclamation point has one on his head, and a question mark has a hook there instead. A period ends a sentence, a colon starts a list, and an ellipse is where a long pause will exist. Now that you have been able to spot a few, here's a secret. You can make them too. You can paint or scribble or cut them out. Just having fun is what it's all about. They love to be counted from 10 to 1, which might be backward, but it's so much fun. Try adding a beak and a feather and two feathery wings. You can make a lovebird that is so that so sweetly sings. You can also make bugs of all different kinds. Just make some more spots and add some dark lines. If bugs aren't your thing, that is quite okay too. You can make a small creature that's covered in blue. Add one spot in orange and one in lime green. Together they make one big monstrous scene. If you like yummy sweets, and you're very ambitious, then make two desserts that are fun and delicious. A spot for a cherry can make ice cream extra sweet, while more spots for gumballs make one tasty treat. Now let's look at a group of really small spots. Art called pointillism is a pattern of dots. Look closely and you'll see them all in a row, but from far away, they make a rainbow. You can also see spots by day and by night. Just look at this sun and this moon shining bright. Or a dozen balloons with long curly strings. You can make spots be so many things. Now you're an expert at finding some spots. It's time to start practicing by making lots. And when you're done, make a story to share so that these spots can spread fun everywhere.
And that's the end of that story. Please come and visit us again. Thank you for listening. Bye.